this plant that you see here is known as Senecio macroglossus variegata. And uh, I have some cool stories with this plant because I first saw Senecio macroglossus growing in my friend's house in New Jersey. And I probably saw it maybe like five or six years ago. And I was like, oh my God, what is this? Because it looked like an ivy, but it had that like ivy shaped leaf, like a heterohelix but it had this kind of succulent glossiness to it and I had no idea what that was. So I went on a kind of mad hunt for it and I eventually found that it is Senecio macroglossus. And if you've been tuning into 365 Days of Plants, which I hope you have been, then you'll notice that some of the Senecios that I've been showcasing have been moving over into two different types of genus. So you have Curio and Clinia. However, this one has stayed in Senecio. So this is again, a true Senecio, at least at this point, in kind of the, the taxonomic and botanical literature. Um, but I had a sad story with this because even though I had it growing in my house for about four, four and a half years, most recently, you probably have been tuning in and you saw that I had house mice and this was one of the plants that it utterly decimated. So I only had about one stem left and it was really sad because this one actually clambered and climbed up my um, it wasn't growing in my vertical garden, it was growing on my window sh windowsill and my northeast facing window in my kitchen and started to serpentine its way up the ropes of my vertical garden even though it wasn't growing in my vertical garden and I absolutely adored it and it had um, one full white stem and I ended up having to get this plant again and it's now growing in the same place but I have my house mouse situation I think somewhat figured out so <laughs> No more gnawing on my leaves, but this is one of the ones that it's surprisingly, um, the mice had surprisingly decimated. Otherwise, this plant is incredibly resilient and you'll see kind of it has a succulent stem, these succulent leaves, this nice cuticular sheen to it. Uh, so this is one that doesn't mind actually being dried out a little bit. As a matter of fact, this plant grows, I believe throughout um, certain parts of Africa, so maybe Mozambique, South Africa, you know, that kind of general area. So it probably grows in a little bit more of a harsher climate. It gets a really beautiful flower, like a little aster style flower on it. Um, also very beautiful. And you'll notice that the type of growing medium that I have it in is a little bit more of a regular potting medium with a bit more perlite. And I tend to put a little bit more perlite into my mix to give it a little bit more of that airy mixture. This doesn't need a tremendous amount of humidity, so you're in luck with there. Anything that with that kind of thick cuticle usually means that it doesn't need a tremendous amount of humidity, which is all very good. And um, if you wanna keep this a little bit more contained, you will have to cut it back, but actually taking tip cuttings, so if you take this as like a tip cutting, this one's a little uh, dry, so I'm gonna take that off. But if, uh, if you take a tip cutting here, this might not be the best tip cutting to take because there's not much chlorophyll in this leaf, but if you take something maybe a little bit like this, which has a little bit more green to it, um, that will probably be the best way to actually propagate this plant. Um, if you don't mind it kind of clambering and growing all over the place, then that is what this plant is going to do. So as a hanging basket plant, it doesn't really cascade over like maybe a Syndapsis pictus or an H. cananthus. It's one of those ones that's going to want to serpentine and, and grab onto certain things and kind of tendril around them. So um, it's not always the prettiest hanging basket plant, but if it's kind of growing in between plants, then you might not recognize it as being a little bit sparse in some areas, but um, otherwise a very cool and interesting one and hardier to grow than a heterohelix in some cases in the home. 